What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Let's start the video off with a little game. I'm about to go out right now to pick up something to eat and you guys are going to guess what I'm going to get. And since I was never a fan of like free response questions in high school and college, I'm a multiple choice guy myself, figure I'll give you four choices. So is it A, Chipotle, B, Chick-fil-A, C, Blaze Pizza, or D, Arby's? I'm gonna go out now and get it. You guys guess, and I'll be right back. Did you guess it? Chick-fil-A, were you right? Leave a comment below if you guessed it right. So I feel like Chick-fil-A was actually the last thing a lot of you guys guessed. I don't think I've had Chick-fil-A on the channel for like five months. So I'll be surprised if anyone got it right. So we got the bar honey barbecue sauce. And then we got one original Chick-fil-A sandwich and a grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, before I forget, uh, you're watching, if you're watching this today, it comes out to Monday. I'm actually going away to Aruba on Thursday. I don't really plan on filming anything while I'm in Aruba. I plan on enjoying my trip, but I probably will share a bunch of stuff like each day on my Instagram story, like what I'm doing each day, what I'm eating, uh, any workouts that I might do. So follow me on Instagram and check out my store if you want to see that. Because uh, last time I filmed stuff for like my trips, no one really seems to care. It kind of ruins the trip a little bit when you're trying to film the whole time. So I'm really not going to film. I'll, like I said, I'll put it on my story. So if you do want to see my Aruba trip, I'm going on Thursday. It's Monday if you're watching this the day of. And I'll probably have a video for you guys while I'm away that's not in Aruba. So um, here we got a, always start with the grilled chicken first. You got to trick the body into thinking you're eating healthy. And you slam the fried chicken one down after when it's not expecting it. So that's what I always like to do. Uh, this Chick-fil-A, when it opened up like a year ago, it was crowded for like the full year. And finally, not finally, like a year later, it's not as crowded as it was when it first opened. Because when it first opened, it was like impossible. You couldn't park. You had to wait an hour for your food. It was ridiculous because we don't really have any other Chick-fil-A's near here. So the honey barbecue sauce is my favorite sauce. Haven't had one of these bad boys in a while. And it's just as good as I remember. So on another note, you guys watch Stranger Things. Uh, I binge watched season two last weekend. And I'm not gonna lie, I mean, it's a good show, but I feel like people are overly obsessed with it. Like, I thought it was good, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like looking forward to season three. I'll watch season three when it comes out. But I mean, it definitely isn't my favorite show. Maybe it's just not my genre of sci-fi, but overall I think it's a good show, a little bit overrated. Um, then again, I did watch the whole thing in one weekend, so maybe I liked it more than I thought. But I'm gonna eat the grilled chicken sandwich. I'll show you the fried one in a couple minutes. All right, grilled chicken down. And like I said, you gotta check the body if you're thinking you're giving it healthy food. And then when it's expecting healthy food, you whip out the fried bad boy. So if you don't know what this is, it's just a fried chicken sandwich. There's pickles on the bottom. This is by far my favorite thing from Chick-fil-A. Now let's take a bite. Oh, whoops. Almost forgot to put the sauce on. I've actually never put the honey barbecue sauce on the fried chicken sandwich, but we're, f we're feeling a little rambunctious today, so we're gonna do it. I mean, it's good without the sauce, but if the sauce is amazing and the chicken sandwich is amazing, combine two amazings and it's gotta be amazing squared, right? Let's try it. Yep, even better. So Chick-fil-A is definitely like the best fast food compared to like Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. Um, some people are like, I don't get it, it's just a chicken sandwich. You don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, gonna finish this. 
And um, I will see you at the gym for my latest upper strength workout. What's going on guys? So this was my latest upper strength workout. I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. Didn't film every set. Uh, so you could see what I did here. Bench I did this week was four sets of four. In between each set of bench, you'll see me doing pull-ups. Um, I did five sets on pull-ups. I believe I did three sets of six reps. Then I drop into two sets of eight reps where I do a little bit less weight added to me. So I'm gonna let the workout footage play in the background. And I really wanted to talk about a question that I've been getting a lot uh, recently, and it's how to bust through a plateau on a lift. Typically, the lift is bench press. So let me, st I'm going to talk about bench press, but it really applies to every lift in general. So if you are struggling on your bench, for example, the first question I'll ask someone who said that they can't get their bench to increase is, are your other lifts increasing? And more often than not, the answer is no, nothing else is increasing. So the issue isn't that your one specific lift is not increasing. The issue is that your strength isn't increasing in general. You just happen to care way more about your bench than your squat, so you're not asking me about your squat, you're asking me about your bench. But if you want your bench to increase and nothing is increasing, it's not your bench press that's struggling, it's your strength in general. So the next thing to ask is, are you gaining weight? Um, if you're not gaining weight and your strength isn't increasing, then that is probably the reason and you're, it's not necessarily your training that is the culprit, but it's your diet. So if you are not getting stronger on any of your lifts, I recommend, and you're not gaining weight, I recommend increasing your calories a bit, maybe like 250 or so, until you're gaining roughly half a pound or so a week. Give that some time, and once you start gaining weight, if your lifts are still not increasing, you could, uh, you could evaluate a little bit further. It might be your training. But before you do anything crazy with your training, definitely make sure you are gaining weight. And here I slammed the weight so hard that the camera fell down. That was pretty funny. But that's usually what I find the most common reason that you're not gaining strength on either your bench, your deadlift, or anything else. It's because you're not gaining weight. Now, maybe you actually are gaining, maybe you're, well, if you're trying to cut and you're not gaining strength, well, you really just need to suck it up for the time being. Because if you're trying to cut, yes, it's nice to gain strength while cutting, but most people can't really do that at least indefinitely so if you're not getting stronger and you're cutting just just accept it be happy if you're able to at least maintain your strength and then when you start bulking in the future you'll get stronger now if you don't fall into any of these categories you're not cutting you're gaining weight and it's only one specific lift like bench for example that's not increasing well then maybe it's your training and the next step i would do is increase the frequency of it so if you're only benching once per week and it's not increasing I would look to incorporate benching a second time in the week. So, but I do find that the more often you do a lift, the better you get at it. And the better you get at it, the more easily you'll gain strength. So that is really my advice if you are plateauing on a lift. And the same plateau applies like if you can't gain weight. Uh, if you can't gain weight, you're probably also not eating enough. So let me just wrap up what I said. If you're struggling to increase your bench, the first step you should look to is are you gaining weight? If you're not gaining weight, increase your calories, see if that helps, and go from there. If you're cutting and you're not gaining strength, just accept it. Be happy if you can maintain your strength. And then when you are bulking, you'll see that you'll probably be gaining strength. And if you are bulking, you are gaining weight, and you're still not gaining strength on a specific lift, try to increase the frequency on that lift. And I'm sure that will actually help you out overall. So the workout footage is wrapping up. Hope that answered some of your guys' questions. I know a lot of people are worried about like specific lifts, so I hope that answered. Uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.